Okay, so INFJ days come in four flavors. You have the INFJ 1, the 2, a 3, and a 4. So INFJ 1s are, well, basically in a state of flow. So they are noticeably dominant and secure in their intellect and who they are. They tend to be very self-aware. They tend to be very understanding. They tend to have a big, strong framework for the world, a worldview that makes sense. So they know how the future is going to move and they know what's going to happen. And they have predicted and seen before them what they want to do in the world. So they have a strong sense of purpose and identity and a strong sense of where they are going. So that's the dominant number one INFJ. So we also have the number two INFJ, and so that's the influencer style INFJ. So this is an INFJ notably focused on changing the world. So often they have a strong sense of what they need to do, but also a strong sense that they don't have what it takes to get the job done. So they feel that they are lacking something, a strong voice, a strong security in who they are, a strong idea of what they want to do or how to do it. and so they feel stress and they feel a bit of insecurity around this. So they are very motivated and they have a lot of energy and they have a lot of inspiration and curiosity for things, but the curiosity they have and the passion they have is stronger than their personal security and their personal identity. So there's a feeling that you do not meet up to, you do not have what it takes to achieve the way the world the way you want the world to be. So your vision is bigger than you are and feel that you are. And so that's something very stressful. Another INFJ is the INFJ tree. And so that's the steady INFJ. So this is a very self-secure and self-reliable INFJ. So this is an INFJ who knows themselves and knows who they are, but also an INFJ that has little energy or motivation to be more than that or to do more than that. So this is kind of an INFJ that feels I am focused on myself and I'm focused on my, my own values and my own mission. And I don't have the energy or motivation to try to aim higher. I, this is, you know, when you have a vision, but you don't really dare to jump for it. You don't really dare to chase it. You don't really dare to aim higher. So you can see that the world could be better. You can dream, you can have hopes, you can have an ideal, but you also feel that this is impossible. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not, uh, capable enough. I'm not able to. I'm not going to handle it. So there is a feeling that you shut down your own ideas. Not as stupid. No, I cannot say that. That's not going to work. That's not possible. So there's a feeling of shooting down your own values. And this can keep you from relationship uh, progress. It can keep you from making positive life decisions, taking on a promotion or aiming higher. So this is the kind of part of yourself that keeps you static, that keeps you who you are, but also keeps you from being more than that. So often INFJ trees, they are very steady, very secure, very confident in what they are currently doing. So they have confidence and skills to handle what they are already do. Often they feel that they are playing life on difficulty level easy. So they are handling and doing tasks that are easy for them and they are choosing to have an easy life, but they are keeping themselves from having the difficult but rewarding and motivating life. <laughs> Finally, we have INFJ4. So this is the conscientious INFJ. This is the tiptoe INFJ. So this is the kind of an INFJ that is a bit afraid to speak out. So they have dreams and they have ideals and they have hopes, but they are afraid to talk about it with other people. They don't want to sound stupid. They are afraid of being proven wrong. And they are afraid of really standing up for and making the world a better place they could be. So often if they have ideas or hopes or ideals, they are often tiptoeing around it. So they talk about it a little. They subtly nudge the world in the right direction, but they don't dare to really push for what they believe in. So it can be the same as saying, maybe we should do it like this. And maybe we should try a bit more in that direction. Uh, would you feel like doing this? Or would you feel like changing that? So there can be a tendency towards wanting to do a bit more, wanting to change the world, wanting to influence the world, but being afraid to speak up about it and being afraid even more of speaking or dreaming too big or being cut down, of being uh, losing yourself in this mission or being thrown off your course. So this kind of an INFJ is 
and has a vision and has ideas and has big hopes and has big beliefs, uh, but often smalls them down, cuts them down, you know, slightly so that they are not too much because there is a fear, you know, when you live life and flow and when you're dominant and confident that you're going to hit the wall, you're going to trick yourself that you know what you're doing when you're really not. The INFJ is uh, one of the least assertive types in the MTI and the most prone to doubt. And one reason for this is because INFJs deal with introverted intuition, which is very speculative, and introverted feeling, which makes them very sensitive. So INFJs are often very much afraid of living real life and experiencing real experiences and having real life situations, real relationships, meaningful situations, uh, deep and profound experiences in the real world. So often there can be a desire to, when you're conscientious, to stay on the drawing boards, to think, to dream, to have hopes, but to never execute them. Or to, if you execute them, do it very subtly and very softly, because what if it becomes too much or what if it's more than you can handle? Now, through this, we are built to handle a lot more than what we think and we have immense potential. So what you want to aspire towards is either stage two, which is growth and learning. So to push yourself to be better, to improve yourself and to push yourself in a sweet spot of growth or INFJ one to also beyond that set boundaries for yourself to say, this is what I can handle. This is what I can't handle. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do to speak out about what you want and to do so with confidence and passion and patterns to say, this is what I care about. And this is what I want to do. And this is how far I can take it to be realistic in your expectations, but to be idealistic in your hopes and dreams and ideals. So these are the four INFJ health levels. Let me know in the comments down below which one you identify with the most. And of course, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.